Well, good morning and welcome back to City Line. We are celebrating Thanksgiving here uh, on this Thanksgiving morning with um, all things that we can expect uh, during the holidays. And nothing says the holidays to me uh, much more than the Merry Bridge Festival of Trees. So please join me in welcoming uh, Chelsea Bosley. You are the Wow, event chair for Mary Bridge Festival of Trees. I say that only because I have been an event chair and I can't <laughs> believe how rested and happy you look oh, for this time you. of year. Welcome, my dear. Thank you. This is a big job for those slim shoulders. Oh. Congratulations. Thank you. Pretty impressive. And this beautiful woman next to you, uh, Kelly Warner, you are the event manager Another big, oh my God, look how pretty your skin is moment oh. at the Mary Bridge Festival of Trees because this thing goes on year round. So, and this is when it really starts to ratchet up and um, it is the ultimate gift for the Northwest to have a festival of trees. So if somebody, if I'm, if I'm new and I'm gonna use myself, I've just moved here. Um, I am so in love with Tacoma during the holidays. Um, and downtown is already lit up today. I can kind of see some of those little holly shooting star things that are happening on the lights downtown. What is the festival of trees? I see it everywhere. What can you tell me? Festival of trees is, um, we feel like the kickoff for the Tacoma's mm -hmm. holiday season. And it's an incredible a multi event. Um, and we have uh, fundraising events on Friday and Saturday. We have public hours, and the center of it are our trees. Dun dun dun! <laughs> and here they are. Yeah. Now, these are pictures from last year, aren't they? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Because of course uh, the trees are all um, live. So Kelly, how and when did the festival begin? As we go through these pictures, we started our festival of trees in 1986 with, at the time, what was our Tacoma Orthopedic Association, now known as the Mary Bridge Brigade. They're an assortment of guilds, community guilds, that got together and went and purchased the festival um, brand and brought it here to Tacoma and started it as a large fundraiser for Mary Bridge. And our foundation, the Mary Bridge Children's Foundation, works alongside of them. We're partners together in this very epic oh. holiday celebration yes. that welcomes community and um, philanthropy from all over. Oh, but boy, and these pictures. These pictures say it all. Yeah. Oh, I mean, first off, happy people. It mm -hmm. gives you a chance to dress up. But if you're not going to one of those events and you just want to walk through and have your holiday socks knocked off, those mm -hmm. trees. If you don't believe in magic anymore, those tr trees will inspire you. Yeah. They're unbelievable. So what are some of the ways that this event has impacted the Mary Bridge Children's Hospital, Kelly? We've done everything from raise funds for baby warmers to helipad to also support our multiple community-based yeah. programs. So this year, our Tinsel in the Town focuses on our parenting partnership program which benefits our NICU babies as they're going home to yes. start life. So it's the program that follows them and helps the family get acclimated to all the extra stuff that they're bringing home because yes. they're not bringing home just uh, just the baby. That's they're bringing right. home lots of product and staff and procedures. So it's the program that follows them for three years to make sure they get as oh. much love and a healthy beginning as they can. There you go. And, and that was the magic word you said was the love. It, yeah. In addition to all of the, uh, as I will say, the accoutrement they yeah. have to bring home, there's the emotional support for them. Lots uh, of it. Because some, sometimes a, a baby in a, a NIC unit is unexpected. Um, and so mm -hmm. there's all these things that we as a community need to come together and support them with. Okay. Um, how much has this event raised over the years? We've raised over $32 million <gasps> for Mary Bridge. Bravo. Ah, yeah. Wow, 32 million. That is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. So um, what opportunities does our community have, Chelsea, to take part in the festival? Well, we have uh, one, we have two um, big fundraising mm -hmm. events, uh, one on November 30th called Tinsel on the Town. It's our um, a wonderful party and yes. fundraiser. The gala pitchers. Oh, yeah. It's wonderful. And then on Saturday night, we have our gala event. 
um, which if you want to wear a gown, please come right. and wear a gown. Um, but we also have um, public hours on the November 30th and December 1st from 9 to 1 where you can come and visit us, see some great entertainment, uh, see the trees and just enjoy the holiday season. Mm, I love that. So both of you probably have some uh, secret intel in terms <laughs> of what are some of the highlights uh, that are planned and what our guests can look forward to this year. So if, if you had to pick one thing that you would either recommend oh or one thing that you would hope that they would seek out, what would it be? And we'll start with you, Chelsea. I know it's hard because there's so much. Uh, there is. I guess um, because it's for a lot of families become a tradition is to go see Santa. So Absolutely. Santa will be there at every event and they are free Santa photos. And so you can go bring your family and, you know, have that moment with Santa before the, uh, you know, Christmas hits. I love that. Yeah. What about you, Miss Kelly? Well, I, I do enjoy the Santa photos as well, but we also have a great selection of children's activities. So you can see the trees as, as a, you know, an adult and getting ideas for what you want to do for the holidays. But then there's a lot of opportunities for the kids to dance on the dance floor and chase snowflakes. Yes. Listen to live community music from our, our local high school bands get together and play on our main stage. Um, and then just do craft projects with our, our children's activities. So there's a lot of great things. I love that. Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, busy. Kid, kids on the dance floor chasing snowflakes. Oh, yeah. And yeah. parents right next to them. Yeah. I mean, when do you ever get a chance to do that? Yeah. yeah. Come on. Um, so also, let's talk about, um, I know, Kelly, because you are, you, are, you are the event queen here in terms of looking at those trees, the load in, the time, all of those types of things. Um, so because our trees are live, yeah. we don't have any pictures of the trees yet this year. So, That's correct. so walk us through a couple of those favorites that you know about. Oh, we have some amazing trees. Our designers are awesome. We have sports inspired. Mm -hmm. So we have Sounders as well as the Seahawks. Uh, we have an amazing uh, dinosaur tree, T-Rex, with a working volcano. What? So, um, I, I, I hope everyone comes out and sees that. Uh, we have just great adult trees that are um, weekend getaways. Uh, golly, we have farm themes. Chick-fil-A's come in and doing a, a beautiful uh, farm-inspired tree for us this year. A uh, lot of nautical themes um, with different twists, of mm -hmm. course, to them. So there's, there is something for everybody to gather inspiration or think about moving it into your home or business. Absolutely. Yeah. I love that. So um, do we have opportunities still, Chelsea, for people to come out and volunteer with the festival? Oh, we, we definitely okay, have Okay, so it's not too late. No, it isn't. And you know, for us, the volunteers are the heart of a festival. Yes. We could not do what we do um, without our volunteers. So we have volunteer opportunities Thursday night, Friday, Saturday, come out. You can um, stand in front of a tree and greet people. You can take tickets. You can work with our um, um, our chair for um, kids' activities and go. help the little ones. Um, we have so many um, opportunities, and we just love our volunteers. We would love you all to come out and spend some time with us. I love that. So um, as we're winding down this segment, I know that... Uh, each of you must have a favorite part of this festival. Otherwise, you, neither one of you would be involved because your time is volunteer time. And it's time away from your family and working in and out of the home as, as we do. So, Kelly, what is your favorite part of the festival? Oh, uh, the people. By far, yes. I have the opportunity to work year-round with a great committee that volunteer in different areas like children's activities and Chelsea, of course, being our event chair, um, to our vendors who are great partners with us throughout the year. So you really get to build um, relationships with, with your community and um, see it all kind of come together, which is probably my favorite part. And then the doors open and people have that surprise and that magic look on their face and then you... You know, that's my favorite that's part, your favorite. that magic, yeah. I hear And it's you. a lot of pieces. Yeah, it is. And what about you, yeah. Chelsea? So I think for me, kind of on that same theme of magic, it's the moment on designer day when our designers get their trees together the first time and we turn down the lights. <gasps> oh, yeah. 
And oh. that first moment of where you see what the room and what the community will see, I think that is the moment for, for me it, because it's like festival is here. I would hold that moment and replay it as I'm having a hard time getting to sleep at nighttime, mm. just because that would be such a beautiful place to go. Yeah. Mm. Absolutely. So who do we need to thank for all of this goodness that we have going on here? Because as we know, it takes a holiday village. So who do we need to thank, Miss Chelsea? I think what we, for me, I want to thank everyone that has touched festival, not mm -hmm. just this year, but every year. I mean, it's 32 years of incredible sponsors and volunteers and human beings that make this happen. And I want to thank the caregivers and the providers and the staff at Mary Bridge for everything that they yes. do every day, making a difference in our children's lives. I love that. Yeah. So as, as uh, event chair, um, as you, when you said yes to this, did you have some I, an idea about some of the highlights that you would add to create this festival of magic that would be a hallmark for you? I think for me, um, it was about, I have a I have a lot of personal relationships with um, the caregivers at Mary Bridge. And the theme this year is all is calm, all is bright. Oh. And for me, it was about those caregivers, those um, people that touch our kids every day. It's about them giving calm nights and bright futures to our yes. children. And so for me, that's what this year has been centered around is celebrating them and, um, and celebrating our volunteers that help us every day with festival. How beautifully well said. Okay, got to ask the question. What's your favorite Thanksgiving pie, Kelly? Oh, pecan. It's a no-brainer. No it's a no-brainer. Okay, and you, Miss Chelsea? <laughs> I, if my mom was here, I... She, she's watching. I know. If my mom was here, I would say um, butterscotch because she's the only one that makes it. I love that. Well, yeah. I want to say... Thank you so much for taking time out of your families today to be here on this Thanksgiving edition. And uh, um, skedaddle out of here, mm -hmm. get back home, and uh, start hugging that family close and uh, putting that good food in your stomach because uh, you got a lot of work ahead of you. Congratulations, and thank you so much for all the beauty you've brought us this holiday season. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. When we come back after just a little bit of musical chairs, we'll have Hilltop artists here in the studio talking about their upcoming uh, glass sale. You don't want to miss that. We'll be right back.